Greetings, Slackers. Today is February 16th, 2016, and I have another article over here I want to share with you on ABC Action News, WFTS Tampa Bay. Billy Beagle 23 accused of texting women death threats. Women met Beagle on dating sites by Jacqueline Ingalls. And just a warning, this uh, article has some really bad grammatical mistakes, but I'll do my best to read through it. Citrus County, Florida. A 23-year-old man is accused of cyberstalk and threatened the lives of at least three Citrus County women he met online dating sites after the women rejected his advances. William Billy Beagle, 23, is now facing three counts of simple stalking. According to Citrus County deputies, Beagle used multiple phone, telephone numbers, and social media accounts to community with three victims that should have been communicated continuously after all three victims told him to stop communicating with them. All three victims even blocked Beagle from their accounts and phones, deputies say. Deputies say he threatened all three victims. According to one woman, Beagle began contacting her on a dating website when he realized his age. She told Beagle he was too young for her and needed to look for someone else and arrest affidavit states. The woman blocked Beagle from contacting her on the site meetme.com because he was not comprehending the fact that she did not want to talk to him, deputies say. That occurred on February 8th. On the same day, she told deputies she received a text message which turned out to be from one of Beagle's phones, an arrest affidavit reports. On February 10th, the woman told deputies she received a text message from a different number, which deputies later determined was another number Beagle was using. The woman reportedly told Beagle, she reunited with her ex-boyfriend and was no longer using dating sites. Beagle allegedly asked the woman to give him her passwords to her Facebook kick and plenty of fish accounts because she had a boyfriend and no longer needed them. Well, that's just a little creepy behavior, guys. If you're listening to this, why would you, why would he do that? But let's go on here. The woman says she told Beagle to leave her alone once again. An hour later, Beagle reportedly sent the woman a snapshot of her Facebook page. A short time later, the woman realized that a fake Facebook page had been created using all of her information. Deputies determined this had been done by Beagle. Facebook was contacted and the fake account was later deleted. Beagle would text the woman 16 times from that phone number and arrest report states. The same day, the woman began receiving text messages from a third telephone number. Deputies say the number was utilized by Beagle. A total of 24 text messages were sent to the woman in one hour span, including threats that Beagle knew where the victim lived and was going to come by later tonight to stab her to death, deputies say. Beagle allegedly then sent the woman a text with her street address. An hour later, the woman received more text messages from a fourth number. Deputies say in those messages, Beagle told the woman numerous times he was coming to stab her to death and slit her throat. Deputies say while on scene investigating the case, Beagle sent the woman threatening to shoot up her house and promised to shoot her as well. During the time deputies were at the woman's home, they say Beagle sent 67 text messages. And this guy doesn't, uh, doesn't get it. Second alleged victim met Beagle on dating site. Deputies say they identified a second victim who claims to have met Beagle on a dating site in December 2015. According to this woman, Beagle told her Billy was his alias. The woman says when she told Beagle she no longer wanted to communicate, he began sending messages to her demanding her personal information and threatening to cause her harm if she did not meet his demand. Deputies say throughout his communication with this woman, Beagle used various telephone numbers to threaten the woman. According to the woman, Beagle even threatened to kill her son. Beagle was able to name the woman's son, information she never shared with Beagle, deputies say. This woman also tried blocking Beagle on her phone. Text messages show Beagle demanded login information to the woman's online dating sites and threatened to have people break into her house and harm her if she did not hand it over. An arrest affidavit states. Deputies identify a third victim. Deputies say they identified a third woman who Beagle stalked. He reportedly met the woman on Facebook. When she attempted to block Beagle, deputies say he threatened to hurt her family. It was Billy Beagle. 
Deputies traced the phone call to Beagle's Hernando home. Deputies interviewed his roommate. She told authorities Beagle was very possessive and controlling. An arrest report states she added Beagle did not have access to the Internet by smartphones and the residence was equipped with Wi-Fi. When deputies interviewed Beagle, he reportedly denied knowing any of the women. He also denied having a computer or smartphone in a arrest report state. Beagle did admit to being on felony probation for similar incidents in northern Florida, deputies say. A record search revealed Beagle also has two open injunctions for harassment with two separate unrelated female parties. Deputies say they spoke to Beagle's mother, who resides with him, but she was not cooperative. And, you know, one of the things you can take away from this story is, like, the roommate who kind of filled in the blank on this guy. Beagle was very possessive and controlling. Not only that, he admitted to having a similar incident previously. So this guy has a pattern, and obviously he's the one. He's trying to clear his tracks, but stupidly he put himself out there and harassed all these women, even when deputies were present talking to the women. How dumb can you be? Anyways, what I will say to this is this. Rejection sucks. No one likes dealing with it. But it does not give you the right to harass, threaten, or intimidate people. Trust me, you don't want people to like you because they feel threatened and you intimidated them into a position of being with you. You always want people who want you for being you, number one, and, you know, because they like being around you, okay? So take these things into consideration as you're out here on these dating websites meeting people. If you talk to a woman and she tells you that she's not interested, respect that. Just let it go. I know that it's a little hard sometimes, but you've got to do this because, as you can see here, this guy already had, uh, uh, looks like a felony, and he's had previous history. So now, you know, all this stuff can be used against him in a court of law because he's already established a pattern with it. Another thing I want you to think about is look at the energy that this guy exhausted going through multiple phone numbers, sending multiple text messages. That was time that could have been better used to, you know, go talk to someone else. Go try to meet with someone else. It's a numbers game, right? Somebody's got to crack and say, hey, you know what? Give you a shot, right? But he didn't think about it like that, and he stupidly went on to harass these women and threaten them, threaten their life, threaten their family. You can't be doing that kind of stuff out here. That's taking it way too far. And, you know, also, let me just add one more thing in here. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of Facebook. I don't use Facebook. So I don't personally have a, a profile page, but I know a lot of people do have Facebook social media profiles, and they're always on other social media websites telling people to add them on their Facebook. And, you know, sometimes when you talk to these people on these dating sites, you know, it's like, hey, do you have a Facebook profile? Let's be friends with people on Facebook. and this is just my personal opinion, which I'm, you know, sharing with you here. But if you have a Facebook personal account, keep that separate. If you meet someone on an online dating website, they don't need your Facebook profile. You don't need to be friends on Facebook, okay, or any other social media platform for that matter. Minimize the points of connection that people have to you until you feel more comfortable with them. But anyways, like I said, down below, leave me your thoughts and comments on this. And that's going to do it for this report. I'll catch you in the next article. September Man, out, out.